Batgirl issue two, uh, written by Hope Larson and art by Raphael Albuquerque. Um, so we moved to Singapore, and my well, first main thought in this issue is get this douchebag away from Barbara. This man is not Dick. Get him away. <laughs> uh, Matt's all troning as well at this point in time. Um, this man's not Dick. What? Get, get your lips off, Barbara. What, what are you doing? Yeah. This man is a Dick. Is a Dick? Yeah. Sure, but not the Dick. Yeah, I'm. I'm not digging on Kai. He's too shifty. Mm. Like, who can just make a phone call and be like, "Yo, we're staying in a better place." Yeah. Then why are you on the run, bro? Like, oh, so it feels a bit off because this is before the Nightwing arc, right? No, that's part of the after, after the Nightwing. Because she said she was in Japan when she came to see him. So that, that... right. So because it seems weird that she's coming back to Dick in between this. Like, like we saw in Nightwing. No, no. I think I think her storming off in Nightwing issue three is before this. Right. Okay. I think that's before she meet before she even meets Kai for the first time in issue one of Batgirl. She's yeah. already stormed off away from Dick. Okay. Mm-hmm. So okay. That, that's where I sync things up there. Um, I no, I really like the issue. Um, art's still great. Obviously, it's still got that fun poppiness to it. Um, yep. The, the the sort of the reveal at the end that the the girl she's fighting in the uh, the tournament or the it's the scheduled fight well. is the uh, the evil school girl that she was fighting in Japan uh, was a nice touch because I, her being a bit of a doofus and getting punched and then looking like all confused that she got punched is actually kind of yeah. fun and adorable and yeah you know yeah and it's not often that I'll say a, a, a woman getting punched is adorable but in comic book form with her like squished well. face. It, it kind yeah, of and, and it's and it's not a life or death situation. Oh no, it's, not a, it's a superhero. It's a match. It's a sparring it's a, session. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's fine in a fight, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But you it's know? just it's a and, goofy face after she gets punched. She's like, mm. what? You know? Yeah, and and I like this uh, the the teacher character that's mm. talking about how you know it's hard to find women to fight in Singapore because of you know the social structure there, and you know so they have a hard time getting them there. And that's why she's back. So I, I, she's a great addition. I hope she's around for a little bit longer. You know. Yeah, it depends how long we stay in this city, doesn't it? Well, I think well, since this this person she's fighting's turned out to be this schoolgirl character, yeah. she's probably going to be inclined to stick around and investigate here rather yeah. than move on mm. super quick. Yeah. Um, but now Kai, Kai has uh, gone at the end of the first arc either by death or because he's such a douchebag. She tells him to fuck off, like written all over. I still think uh, he's yeah. involved in something evil or shady. Oh yeah, right. yeah, shady as hell. There's something going on. Yeah, but I think so, he ends up in in prison. I I think he's gonna. I mean, the schoolgirl was after him for a reason, hmm. and I I feel like that's he he's using Barbara. I've seen enough '80s movies with travel problems like this. He's using Barbara as cover to to travel around. Hmm. You know, Probably. take the heat off of him. So. I feel inclined to wonder: Does he actually know about Barbara, and she's at, and he's also using her as protection? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I mean, I don't, I don't know, but perhaps. Yeah, we'll share because she lies to him and says that she she was. What did she say she was doing? Going to the library. Yeah. And so she comes back battered, and she's like, "Yep, yeah, it's a pretty heavy library." <laughs> you know. Mm. Oh. I hope she kicks him in the nuts when she realizes he's up to. <laughs> She don't take shit from no one. You see how yeah. she treats Dick when when he fucks up, yeah. and, and she loves Dick. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> we all love Dick, yeah. especially so. Peter. Yeah. <laughs> you love Dick too, man. Don't sell yourself short. <laughs> Not as much as you do, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's an old school Dick lover. Yeah. <laughs> oh, never get oh. old. I feel no. like just a. Uh, it's it's kind of a trend in these rebirth books, but uh, another shout out to the colorist. I love all these these oranges and yellows, and they're just well, really popping I, out. I think what's really standing out about the art and the colorists and rebirth is that they're letting them do lots of different things that are suitable for their books. Like look at Detective; everything's really moody and shadowy, and it's great, but it fits what's going on. And then you come over to background, and everything's poppy and vibrant, and you know it's got a color scheme. Everything's it's, yellows, it's and oranges, oranges, yellows, yeah. and purples. I don't think a lot of it takes place at night in Batgirl. No. Almost so, none of it. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, the whole thing in the first issue was the fight was in the middle of the day. Yeah. Yeah. It almost yeah. makes me look forward to getting back to Gotham in Arc 2 so that we can get some Batgirl at night action, but... 
you know. Yeah, yeah, it'll, it'll be really nice to see the colour palette shift as well to reflect that. However, not the uh, tape that was in the Killing Joke animated movie. Not, not that tape of Batgirl at night action. Um, no, no, to, don't stay away. Just to be clear. Stay away. Ah, uh, dear. Um, but uh, I really liked Batgirl issue too. It was... Yep, me too. Fun. Great. The voice was down. Excellent. Mm-hmm.